Welcome guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use the Angular's route resolve method to control the different data which we are going to call through Ajax in a particular route. Now to explain you, the basic thing is if you see on the landing page I have gallery loaded consoled which gives me two objects. If I refresh you will see I have gallery loaded and now I have two objects because I have two galleries in my database. Okay. Now the problem is let me clear it and if I go in the insight page now I can see looking at gallery ID 1 gallery details but then I have gallery loaded again. Now why did this happen? You can see the entire data is coming back which means the query is going two times to the server one to fetch a gallery with id1 which i'm doing through gallery slash one and then the second request is all the galleries which is slash gallery right now this is going to be a problem especially when we have a big app and there are a lot of data in our database so how do we solve this problem what we can do is if i go to my app.js in here you can see so there are three routes which have the same controller from angular and that is the reason whenever the controller is getting called this method is going to be called and all the galleries are going to be loaded which is a problem right now this we can fix with what we call the routes resolve method so now what we are going to do is we are going to add the resolve in here I'll say resolve and in that I'll pass an object let's call it data and it is going to return some object again so for now I'll just do a simple object and then inside that it's a gallery view right so the main thing is everything inside data can be injected and so what I will do is I'll copy this I'll say gallery model all galleries and this is what I'm going to return inside galleries because you can see I am using scope.galleries so galleries will be gallery model dot all gallery get all galleries and I'll need to inject the gallery model so what I will do is I will copy this and I will pass it in the function which means now I'm injecting the gallery factory or the model object and then let us comment this out okay my script is ready let me save it again all right hit refresh let me go to the view page and refresh okay no data is coming obviously because we have not handled the controller so let us quickly do that but as you can see we are not loading the data anymore right now in here the first thing which I need to do is you know the data has to be injected inside the controller right so I'll say comma data and I'll pass it here as well okay and now what I can do is inside the controller I first need to check whether the data is available and whether the galleries is available also or not so I'll say if data and data dot galleries okay I'm passing galleries so I'll copy this if data and gallery dot data not equals undefined yeah which means now I'm inside I'm getting the galleries from the result so the rest of the code is pretty much what I have written previously I can get the galleries as response and then I do the timeout okay so the old code was a little uh, buggy I was 
assigning galleries and then again I was assigning the response so I'll copy this part only paste it here but now the entire block okay the the entire block is doing the same thing which I was doing previously but the only thing is this block will be inside the galleries uh, promise function so I have data dot galleries and I'll do on the success of this function okay because in the resolve I am returning an HTTP response from the model so I'll say data dot galleries on success I'm getting the response and then I'll copy this part and paste it here okay so you need to understand what is happening here so basically I have the galleries I first check whether the gallery is available and then I have injected into the controller and then I have the factory method returning a promise which I have captured here data dot galleries on success okay because it's an HTTP method so yeah uh, I get a success response and on that I'm doing the assignment of scope dot galleries okay now it's again in the same timeout so that we get the loading part so yeah pretty much done in this part okay and now let's save the file and see if the code is working and yes we get get the two galleries and now if you see if I go in any of the single gallery let us comment the code I mean remove the code and yeah this is the final piece of the code which we require the old code is gone now if I click on any of the gallery you can see there's an error and the error is basically for the injector because what happens is as soon as I do a resolve in any of the route all the con all the routes which is which uses the same controller in my case it will be the view add and the single view uh, of the gallery all need to have a resolve and all need to return something because I'm injecting dollar injecting data into the controller so on other routes I will not get the data so I have to add something so in that case what I'll do is in add I don't need to pass anything right now so I'll just pass a string single you can type anything in here it's irrelevant it's just passing something and I'll copy this and I will do it in the ID gallery slash ID as well okay now if I refresh the page you can see that the error is gone but obviously we are oh sorry we are still loading the gallery because we have not removed the code but you can see the add gallery page will work because now we have the resolve the blank resolve as well okay now the next part is basically we need to comment this part out and handle this situation this code is correct in a way but I want to handle it to resolve so that I can show you how we can do individual ID based resolves as well so in this I'll modify this this is the ID based route now I have a factory method which is get gallery by ID right so this is the method which I'm going to call inside the resolve so I have gallery dot model dot get gallery by ID obviously I need to pass it through a key so I'll say what is the scope variable it's a single gallery so I will say single gallery colon the factory method now you can you can assign any name here it's not required or mandatory to, that both variables should be same because um, there is no relevance at all but I keep it simple okay now the ID part I need to inject the dollar route so that I can get the ID and pass it to the model factory method because get gallery by ID requires the right ID right so I say dollar route dot current and I get it inside the params dot ID now ID is because I have gallery slash colon ID 
If this is something else, I have to change the ID to the same thing. All right, let me go into full screen. So I have this single gallery, which is going to be passed to the controller because we have the factory method and now we need to handle it again. So I have some error here. I think the ID part is missing. Let me check. This is ID. I have it as ID. Hmm. Something is wrong. Some silly mistake I must have made. I'll quickly fix and I'll come back. All right. So I know what is the problem. It's a typo. I think you must have seen this. And yeah, you can see that the gallery is not loading because we have commented the code in the controller, right? Now let us handle the part. I'll just copy this piece of the code. Now it's single gallery instead of gallery. So when data and data dot single is not undefined, what we will do is we'll first print console looking at the gallery ID like we were doing before. And then instead of the models success, we will say data dot single gallery dot success. Yeah, single gallery. Oops. So on the success of this function, sorry, I'll again pass the response and the rest of the code is as it is. So copy this part, paste it here. Okay. Now let us save and hit refresh. So as you can see, we are getting the gallery data back, but this time we are not loading the other informations which we are doing previously which is the list of all the galleries if i go to the view page yes i do get the galleries loaded if i refresh again you can see i have galleries loaded and then the two galleries are visible but when i go into the inside page i'm not loading them again because this time i'm using route resolve to handle and call only those data which is required by me so yeah that's it guys that is how we can you know optimize our code let me remove this i don't need that anymore so yeah this is how i have refactored the code and used route resolve to control what are the different data points or the data http request which i need to do in individual routes instead of you know loading them all again and again yeah that's about it if you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and share it on social networking sites. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.